Hello, my fellow storytellers. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to turn a procedurally generated Blender texture into a Valve material file that can be used within Valve's source engine. Yes, the engine that runs Half-Life 2 to Portal 2. So let's get right into it. So the texture I'm going to, I am using at the moment is the stone, uh, the weathered stone texture that I created in a uh, previous Blender tutorial, a Blender texture tutorial. Uh, the video to make that tutorial should be appearing in the card in the top right. If it doesn't appear, then I'll leave a link to it in the description. All right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to be in our shading tab, go to um, our um, render properties, then go to our bake. Um, tab in the render properties. Now, something important, you need to make sure your render engine is set onto cycles. If it isn't set on cycles, the baking option will not uh, be there since cycles is the only engine in Blender currently at the moment that can bake textures. So what we're going to do is that first off, we're going to select the mesh that our texture is on and we are going to set our bake mode to diffuse then deselect direct and indirect the reason why is because if those are selected the lighting from blender will be baked into the physical image and we don't want that we just want the colors of our texture so next we are going to in our material that we created we are going to add a image texture node let me zoom in here and then on this image texture node, we're going to press new and make our resolution to 2080 pixels by 2080 pixels. Next, select 32 bit float and then create your image. Be sure to rename it from untitled to something that you'll be able to um, easily be able to uh, remember like I don't know. I'm going to name this texture uh, W stone underscore diff for diffuse. And next we're going to go to our baking tab and we are going to press bake. Now let's wait for that to bake. Once your texture is finished baking, you will then save it to a folder that um, create a new image. Now Blender, out of convenience, keeps all of these settings the same. Um, so you could just go and bake your normals, diffuse, and your reflection or um, glossy maps with uh, just as a conveyor belt, just as a, just go and go and go and then you could have it all done. So this one I'm going to name um, W, um, stone underscore n for normal then make sure that our bake settings are set to normal and then click bake all right now that our normal map is done baking uh, we are going to bake the last image that we need to make our valve material file so and that would be the roughness or glossiness map that you will soon see is uh, named like that in the valve material file editor that we're going to be using. So I am going to bake our glossiness map and then I will see you in the valve material editor. All right, here we are in our Valve Material Editor, 
And the link to this software's um, Valve wiki page will be in the description so that you'll be able to download it. So uh, in the editor, we're going to go to Browse and select the file that you um, saved all your images in. And one by one, for the diffuse, in the diffuse section, put your diffuse that you uh, baked from Blender into the diffuse section. For in the uh, bump, um, put the uh, bump map, uh, bump map normal. And then for the uh, glossy, or I should say for the reflection, go to uh, put your um, glossiness map into the reflection. Now for, val uh, for the model textures that you put onto MDL files, um, it is a little different and I'll have a tutorial on how to create those textures in the future. So what we're going to do is that after we set everything up to our liking, we are going to save this file and all of its materials into either your mods folder or into whatever directory that you are, into whatever source engine directory that you're using uh, this texture for. If it's in Half-Life, um, then you could, uh, you need to mod it and figure that stuff out. So I'm just going to be using the source engine SDK that you can get off of Steam. So I'm going to save that and I am going to, in my mod file, I'm going to save this under uh, under materials and then new folder. This is just for organization and I'm just going to do W stone for weathered stone. And then I'm going to save my VMT into uh, this uh, into this directory. And then if you want, change it just uh, change your material to weathered, a uh, weathered stone or whatever name you have your material is, so that you could save it at, under that, uh, save that VMT under that name, and press save. All right, so here we are in the hammer editor, and what we're going to do is that we're going to add a block of our texture. So. We're going to add it there. Just add a block and then browse for your texture. I've already browsed for it, but we, whatever you need your texture, type into the filter bar. And then, all right, I'm going to select my texture and then press enter to add it into the editor. Now here we have our block of our texture, but in order for you to view it correctly in game, first you need to add a, uh, a info player start, and then you need to add a spotlight uh, just to best see the way your texture looks in engine. So put type in light underscore spot when you're searching for your entity. And then move your spotlight up and then angle it slightly so that you can see and view your bump map. Apply everything you wish to apply and then run your map. Be sure to select HDR so that you can see what your, um, what everything that has to do with lighting with your texture. If you do not select that, it will just um, render a plain version of your texture and not give you all the detail that you want to see. And then select OK to compile. Alrighty, here we are in the engine and this is our texture all rendered out in HDR. As you can see our bump map is working and we can see all the details that we place into it. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and have a good day.